Hi everyone, so I'd already tried to film this video once before and um, it came out okay but the volume for some reason there was a really really weird loud kind of crackling noise going on because I'd turned the volume up because people were saying that it was a little bit quiet so I tried to fix it but um, that didn't work either so hopefully you can hear me okay now but trust me it was better than the crackling thing that was going on before and it was kind of a blessing in disguise that that video didn't work because it was also unnecessarily long. So I'm just going to get started with products that I've kind of rediscovered in my makeup collection. They aren't new products, they're not things that I've kind of bought or anything like that recently. They're just products that I've kind of rediscovered in my own collection and that I've been really enjoying using all over again. So the first product is an eyeshadow and it's from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And it is this matte black shade right here called Blackout. Now, probably looking at it, you're thinking, yeah, not a very interesting colour, nothing special. But what's so lovely about this colour is it is so intensely, intensely pigmented. I've never seen anything that's got such great pigmentation. It's better than MAC Carbon and the other MAC Black one. I can't think what it is off the top of my head. But I'm wearing it today just kind of as winged liner, just on the outer corners, and it's about five o'clock now, and I've had this on since this morning, and it stayed looking perfect. And it's much softer than wearing black liner, so I really, really like this. Then the next thing is also an eyeshadow. I've got quite a lot of eye products in here. But this is an eyeshadow and it's Max Sable eyeshadow which looks like this. It's this one right here where my finger is. And it's just a kind of warm toned plummy brown but it looks beautiful in the cooler months because it has been warmer here recently so I've been kind of tending to wear things like Urban Decay's Toasted or Max All The Glitters and they're colours that are really beautiful in the summer but this is a great wintry kind of colour just adds that kind of depth to your eye and it's quite warm so it looks really beautiful in autumn. Then um, another eye product that I've been loving is this eyeshadow duo from Clinique and it's in the shades almost peach which is this shade right here which is identical to max naked lunch just maybe slightly a tiny bit peachier and then this one which is called bewitched and it's a beautiful chocolate matte brown and i love the consistency of the clinique matte eyeshadows they're just so smooth i've swatched it there for you really smooth and a great great everyday crease color so i love that then I have also reunited my love with my MAC Paint Pot Invest Study, which you all know I love. But I had been neglecting this and going for my Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo or whatever that's called more. But um, I have rekindled my love for this and um, it's true love with this product. It's never going to change. <laughs> then a couple more eye products here. I'm really on it with eye products, aren't I? So I've got two liners and a mascara. The first liner is this one by Avon and this is really a different thing for me because I don't like black eyeliner. I don't know what it is. I don't mind it on other people but on me I just don't like black eyeliner. I just don't think it suits me. I just don't like the look of it. And this is a black eyeliner but what I've been doing with this is just tracing a really fine line on my upper lash line and kind of smudging it into my lashes to make my lash line appear thicker. And this is the Avon Professional Coal um, liner. I'm not sure exactly what this is called to be fair because it, I have had it for quite a while but it's just your standard black liner it's got a smudger on the end and it really does make your lashes look much fuller and I like that then a couple more eye products Max I Get No Kick pencil which is just a shimmery nude eye pencil I hadn't used this for a really long time because it needed sharpening and I sharpened it and I've been using it non-stop for the past couple of weeks because I've been really loving it and mascaras, this is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. I have got a couple of mascaras on the go at the moment. I've got Benefits They're Real, an Avon One, um, Lancome Hypnos Drama. I've got a couple that are on the go and um, none of them kind of do the job as easy and as quick as this does. It's just so easy to use. It gives you length and volume and I've got really sad little lashes and this works a treat on them. 
then um, some face products that I've been loving. I've got two foundations and a bronzer here. The foundations are the number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation and Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. And the reason that I've been using both of these is I have been mixing them in with my Bourjois Healthy Mix. So on days when I've got a little bit more of a tan, I've been using the number no. 7 Beautifully Matte one. Because I love the finish of the Bourjois foundation, but I find that um, the staying power, not so much the staying power as it gets quite shiny, um, easily is something that I don't like so I've been mixing it in with either that when I've got a tan or when I haven't got a tan Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and together they have just been working really well to kind of keep my skin a little bit more matte because it's been so hot and then for bronzer I've been reunited with my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzing Powder in Universal Sun. I did mention this in like my first video ever I think and I love this bronzer. It's just such a warm beautiful brownie colour. It's got a kind of warmth to it but it's got no shimmer in it and it's just really uplifting and really flattering and I hadn't used this for a while. I'd been using a Gemma Kid bronzer and um, I really really love this and I'd also been using my MUA bronzer for ages. Um, then all the rest I think is lip products. Um, one lip product I have been using loads lately and I cannot find it and it's Max Way to Love lipstick. So just imagine that I've got that here because I don't know what I've done with it. But um, oh, <laughs> I do know what I've done with it, here it is. That is the weirdest thing. Okay, so Max Way to Love lipstick looks like this. This was limited edition and it's just a beautiful salmony pink colour. Really lovely and um, one of my all-time favourite MAC lipsticks. And then another MAC lipstick is Angel. I've been wearing this a lot lately because I've been kind of fake tanning a bit more and I just like this with a tan. And I went to a wedding last week and I wore this and it looked really lovely. And that's kind of more of a cool toned pink but it does look really nice when you've got a bit of a tan. Then um, I've got two more MAC products. This is quite heavily MAC um, oriented. This is the MAC Lip Liner in Dervish, which is just a beautiful kind of nude. I'll try and swatch it here for you. You can't really see that, can you? It's just a nude lip liner, but it's really easy to use and it's a really lovely colour. It's kind of not too warm. It's kind of got a bit of a coolness and I like that in a lip liner. And then this is a lip gloss by MAC that I love and it's MAC Miss Marble. And it was one of those marble effects colours. I think for some reason it was from the Colour Crafters collection, but I might be mistaken. Um, but it, this is limited edition, you can't get this anymore and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just this kind of beautiful muted dark pink, but it just looks amazing on your lips and it's a lovely formula. And then two more lipsticks. Um, I've got this one by L'Oreal, which is number 257 Sunset Blush. And this was one of my all-time favourite lipsticks. And it's just gorgeous. It's just a kind of lovely, natural pink colour that kind of lifts your complexion without being too bright. Really great one. It has got that weird kind of L'Oreal Grandma lipstick scent, um, which I'm not overly keen on, but... And then the last one is the YSL Rouge Volupt in number 13, which I believe is Peach Passion. And this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, really flattering peachy shade. The most gorgeous packaging ever. But um, I don't tend to wear this very often because I feel like it really dries my lips out. So I'll wear it like on a night out or something like that. I like to wear it on occasions where I need to get my lipstick out and reapply because I just love the packaging of it so much. But um, yeah. So those are the products that I've kind of rekindled my love for in my own makeup collection. I'd love to know what products you've kind of um, fallen back in love with and if you've been enjoying shopping your stash as we call it here on YouTube. And I hope you'll have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.